friends welcome back to my channel um my name is Peyton and today I decided to do a uh, facts about me um I am sick I'm getting over the cold that I got a week ago so my voice is kind of in and out but I've been wanting to do this video for a while now so so I have my list of facts here um so yeah let's get into it i figured it'll help um people get to know me uh get to understand my channel uh nice little introductory like first you know few videos um so yeah uh well my name is peyton there we go <laughs> i had to throw that one in there um fact number two is that i am married got married um september 10th of this year and uh, I wish I could relive that day every day. It was so perfect. It went by so fast. And I really regret not getting a videographer. So if you're wondering if you should, you should. Because so much happens in such a short amount of time. And the day literally flies. That you're just kind of like, man, I wish I could re relive it. And having a video, you can. So I do regret that. Um, I So number three, I have been with my husband for uh, seven years now and um, we have known each other for nine we were friends first before we started dating and then uh, we started dating after that um, we've been together ever since uh, we've been together since high school we are high school sweethearts so that's kind of cool <laughs> um, I have two dogs and two rabbits I have a Rottweiler and a shepherd terrier mix um and then i don't know what kind of rabbits my rabbits are <laughs> uh one is white and gray and the other one is black um uh, my rottweiler's name is gus and my shepherd terrier mix her name is emma emma is eight years old and gus is two he'll be three in january uh we are looking into getting another dog uh, we want another Rottweiler, but they're just so expensive. It's ridiculous. Um, we did have three, but the one passed away. It'll be almost a year in January. Uh, he was also a Rottweiler, and it was a sudden passing, so that kind of, that really sucked. Um, but we're not going to go there. Uh, my favorite color is blue. Uh, I, it's like weird. My favorite color to look at is blue. But uh, I wear a lot of pink or black <laughs> um and i generally go for like pink things um but i've been into this new blue color i can't even explain what it is it's like a, a tea hole kind of sky blue mix i don't know some kind of blue color <laughs> i've been into um yeah so that's that my favorite number is four i have no idea why it's been four for as long as I can remember um, I just like doing things in like fours um, I think that the amount of kids that I want to have is four I would like four dogs <laughs> I have four animals right now um, I just I don't know there's something about the number four it's just so clean to me I love it um, I have ten piercings uh, I can do a video on that if you guys want, I can rate the pain scale, show you where all my piercings are, um, and tell you the healing process of them. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to get any more piercings. Uh, I've gotten all the ones that I wanted to get, um, and then got some that I didn't even know I wanted. <laughs> I have six tattoos. I will definitely be getting more tattoos. Again, I can do a video on um, where they're at. I can show them to you and like rate the pain scale and healing process for you guys. So I went to college for human services, but I ended up not doing anything with it. I have an associate's degree. I didn't continue my education. Um, that's like a whole separate thing. I just kind of woke up one day and realized that that's not something that I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to go into human services because of my childhood. And then it just turned into I went through so much in my childhood that I didn't want to mentally go through it in my adult life. And I wanted to be a social worker to help with kids and stuff like that. So it just didn't work. 
Um, and that's fact number 10 is that I wanted to be a social worker. I wanted to be the ones that helped kids find families that took them from their parents if they were in bad situations. Um, and it just, like I said, I woke up one day and I realized that, that that just wasn't what I wanted the rest of my life to be because that was so much of my childhood. Um, 11, I have two brothers and three sisters. Um, not all by the same they're, they're, my dad has, um, I have an older brother, and then me, and then a younger sister, and then my mom has me, um, a, my brother, and then two, uh, two sisters. Uh, my favorite food is Italian food. I love pasta. I eat pasta every day, all day, garlic bread, bruschetta, like, all of it. But I also love tacos. <laughs> I'll never turn down a good taco. Um, my favorite self-care thing to do is get my nails done, obviously. <laughs> I don't really do much else. I used to get my eyelashes done, but it was just um, too much of an upkeep. Um, and it was expensive. The ones that I would get were like the, the volume lashes, so it was just too much. And plus the... Uh, after we moved the place was the place that I was going to is an hour away now um, so that's kind of annoying there was another place down here but whatever glue they used didn't agree with my eyelashes because they just kept falling out within a week and that's not what it's supposed to do um, 14 I love reading I love a good book I like sitting on the couch reading at night um, my favorite kinds of books would be like mysteries, murder mysteries. Um, I don't really care for like love stories. <sighs> no, I just like a good murder mystery or just any kind of mystery. Anything that's going to keep me on the edge of my seat is something that I really like. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I love to go on walks. I like to take my dogs on walks. Um, we live in like a wooded area, so it's nice around the fall time to go take them on a walk. Um, it's just like something about it, getting the fresh air in your, in your lungs. Uh, just getting out of the house and taking a walk is something that I really like to do. Um, my favorite show is Law and Order SVU. <laughs> it has been my favorite show since I was a child, literally. I don't know who told me I could watch that when I was a kid, but I was watching it. And my, like, my uncle, I used to go and sleep over at my uncle's house a lot, and I would watch Law and Order. And... They would like make fun of me because I could literally I, I could tell you exactly what's gonna happen just from watching the first 30 seconds of the show <laughs> and it still stays to be my favorite thing I have all the long orders on DVD um, it's just an amazing show I love it I've got my husband to watch it recently and he's like in love with it so that's so great because he's always been like I don't want to watch it and then we watch it and he's like oh <laughs> let's watch that um, my favorite holiday is Christmas, although this year I'm not feeling very in the festive mood. I don't know why, it's just kind of odd. Um, I don't really care for Halloween, but I do love fall. Fall is my favorite season. Um, I love the bonfires, I love it starting to get a little chilly, like the snuggle weather. Uh, I love the colors, but... Oh, sorry about that. I had to go get water. So like I was saying, uh, my favorite uh, season is fall. I love the colors. I love the fall candles. I love everything. Um, bonfires, that's when we start to get in our hot tub again, which we can't really do in the summertime, so it's great. The fall is just a good time. 
Uh, 19. I have lived in at least seven different towns growing up, and I have lived in multiple houses in the, some of the same towns. So, we moved around a lot when I was a kid, and we would, pen, like, I, I grew up in Pensacola. So, Pensacola is such a large town that you could literally live in different parts of it, and it's like a whole different, like, world. So I've lived in a few different parts of Pensacola growing up, and then I lived in other parts of uh, South Jersey. Um, but that can be a whole other video about where I lived and how it affected me and all that. Uh, night, uh, 20. Growing up, I did live in multiple different motels. Um, my family would get evicted, and then we would have to go live in a motel because we didn't have any money um and I'm gonna do a separate video about that too I have never been outside of the U.S. <laughs> so I have actually only been on a plane once when I was like three to go to Florida Ooh, so has everybody <laughs> For our honeymoon, we did a, uh, like, east coast, kind of a little bit going into central uh, honeymoon, because I wanted to see more of the U.S. before we went outside of the country, because the furthest, I've only I've gone to Florida, but then the furthest over I've only gone is to Pennsylvania, and not even, like, deep in the PA. So, uh, we went all the way up to Maine, all the way over to, um, Indiana, down to Tennessee, and then we looped back around. We changed our honeymoon up a little bit. We were supposed to go all the way up to Michigan, and then down to Mississippi. Oh, excuse me. And then, um, through, like, Alabama, Georgia, all that, and back up. <clears throat> but we decided to cut it short. We were missing home missing the dogs, our bed, <laughs> uh, but it was a fun time, it was a, a lot of fun, um, which, ha I mean, I just said, like, three facts and one fact, uh, I've never been on a plane except to Florida, we did a road trip, um, 24, I love, love, love the mountains, way more than the beach, um, I want to get a vacation home in the mountains. I love looking and driving and just seeing the mountain range. I love everything about the mountains and I could care less about the beach. Like the beach is cool and all, we'll go here and there, but if I had to choose between a mountain house and a beach house, I would pick a mountain house a million times. Like we got married in the mountains. <laughs> I love the mountains and my husband is the same way. Um, my dream vacation is to go to Italy and Ireland. Um, my husband, is, his family is from Italy. And I want to plan like a trip with them. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. A lot of uh, my family is from Ireland. So uh, I just really want to go to those two places. And once I go there, I mean, my goals will kind of be accomplished. I've, obviously, I want to go other places, but those are my, like, top two. Uh, my favorite dog breed is a Rottweiler. Obviously, I have one. I had two. I uh, want another one. <laughs> it's just something about their breed. I think they're beautiful. They're protective. They um, are big. They're, like, goofballs. Like, the biggest goofballs in the world. Um, and they're definitely like no other breed, so that's definitely the one I'm going to stick with. And I was actually attacked by a Rottweiler when I was about three, four years old. And now I have one and I am in love with the breed. <laughs> so, um, so I just started getting into makeup probably about like three or four months ago. I did a full face of makeup for the first time because we were going out and I actually really liked it and my husband liked it and so I'm just trying to like find my way in the makeup you know what I like what I don't like um 
and I used to not like foundation because it felt so heavy on my skin um, but then I've learned how to apply it and what foundations work for me and I really like the NARS foundation because it's not like super full coverage you can still see some of my freckles all that um, but it's also like nice like it just it doesn't look cakey it's like all even tone on my skin because I have like very uneven skin tone um it's just overall a very nice foundation and I like it so I mean don't rag on my uh makeup skills because I'm still learning <laughs> uh I love true crime I'm a typical girl who loves watching true crime I can watch true crime and then go right to sleep I can literally sit there with the popcorn and watch it for hours <laughs> I love watching YouTube true crimes I follow Bailey Sarian she's amazing um I could it, it, it just is so fascinating to me and and which is weird because women are usually the victims <laughs> but women love true crime um it's just, it's just, yeah, I love watching true crime videos. Um, I work on a food truck with my sister-in-law. So my sister-in-law has a food truck called Red's Rolling Restaurant. And I work on there with her. And I've done a few vlogs. She wants to start her own channel uh, with, like, food truck vlogs, showing you what food truck life is like, uh, taking you along with her. So um, once she does that, I will definitely be promoting it for her. Um, but the food truck is really fun, especially uh, with Megan because, you know, she's my sister-in-law. We get along very well. So it just kind of feels like you're hanging out with your sister-in-law. You know, you're just having a good time. We girl talk. We, you know, we just, it doesn't feel like work, but then you're also making money. So that's pretty cool. So I have gained a green thumb. <laughs> I was killing everything, like. I, my grandma had a plant for like I don't even know how long years like seven years and then she gave it to me because my uncle's dogs kept eating it and I killed it within a week and I'm like what is wrong with me so then I got some succulents and I started there and I started with a snake plant that was like itty bitty and now it's like huge i love it but i have a bunch of plants i don't even know how many plants i have but they're all over my house and now i need more room for plants <laughs> um i have this app it's called blossom and it helps me identify the plants and tell me how to take care of it and it reminds me to water them when i need to water them so that i really definitely think that that is why i've gained a green thumb but in the springtime we want to set up like a, a little garden outside grow our own fruits and vegetables um so maybe i'll vlog that hopefully it goes well because i've never tried to grow anything outside um i don't speak to either of my parents um i haven't spoken to my mom in about two years two maybe two and a half and same thing with my dad but with my dad, I didn't really speak to him ever. But the last time I actually spoke to him was probably about two years ago. Um, but yeah. I practically raised my siblings. So growing up, uh, it was just me. I grew up with my mom. So it was just me, my brother, and my sister. And I pretty much raised them. Um, I was watching them all the time. I was making sure they ate breakfast, that kind of stuff. So yeah so i've really been trying to find a way to have an anxiety outlet um and journaling has definitely been that anxiety outlet for me um i just really enjoy when i'm feeling a little anxious or depressed just grabbing my journal which is actually this right here and just sitting down and you know talking about my thoughts talking about what's been going on lately why I'm feeling a little anxious and literally right after I put it in this book I feel immediately better it's just so weird um, I don't ever want to be the I don't ever want to have to take medication so if this is what I have to do 
and it makes me feel good, then I, I love it. Like, I really have, I recommend it to anybody who's never tried anything. I recommend journaling. Um, if you hear my dogs in the background, they, like, decide to play when I'm busy. So, you know, just try to ignore that. Uh, I don't talk to my siblings, really. Um, they're just kind of... You want to go lay down. Go lay down. <laughs> um, I just, I don't have a good relationship with my one brother. I just, I never got to know my siblings on my dad's side. And my sisters live with my mom still and I don't talk to her. So I don't really have any kind of way to talk to them. It's just kind of a shitty situation, but it is what it is. Um, when I was young, I wanted to move to New York City. I love New York City. I thought it was beautiful. I wanted to be in that fast-paced lifestyle. I wanted to walk everywhere and take the subway and, you know, just live where it just feels like everyone's alive. And now I live on five acres <laughs> in the woods. And cities make me anxious. <laughs> so that was definitely, what is it, 180? I just turned around from that. I love shopping. I love shopping for other people mostly, but I like, you know, dabbling, getting some stuff for me every now and again. Um, I love Marshalls. Marshalls. I got this top from Marshalls for like 12 bucks. Like, come on now. You can't even beat that. Um, and I love home goods. Like, I will spend so much money and time in home goods just trying to decorate my home, which doesn't even need to be decorated. <laughs> um, my favorite YouTubers are Bailey Sarian. I've already mentioned her once, but I love watching her videos. The way she tells true crime is just like, it really captures you. Um... And I like that she doesn't mix her opinion in until the end, so the story doesn't get all, like, mixed up. Um, and I like watching her do her makeup, too, obviously. I love Christina Randall. She is a good YouTuber. Um, and I like Simply Nessa. I watch her a lot, too. And Gabby Victor. Uh, I love all of them. My guilty pleasure is reality TV. So whenever I'm feeling down or, you know, just want to go pick me up or I don't know what to watch or something along those lines, I'm, I just go straight to reality TV. <laughs> and by that, I mean like Jersey Shore, Bad Girls Club, you know, anything along those lines. I just, uh, I love it. I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I can watch it for hours. Um... My favorite city that we visited on our honeymoon was Cleveland, Ohio. I loved it. Um, it was a city, obviously, but I mean, it was city vibes, but it wasn't like I don't, the cities around me. Like I have Atlantic City and then uh, there's Philadelphia, um, which I, you know, they're both like kind of crappy cities like not even to be that person but they are like they're not clean like but Cleveland like you walked we got out of the car and it didn't feel like we were in a city it was just like everyone was nice you know it was just a good time we walked the whole city we walked like three miles to get to uh where we were going to eat and I just I loved it I would totally go back to Cleveland I want to go back um I just we loved Ohio in general like Ohio I would I would move to Ohio <laughs> and fact number 40 I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for so long but I've been scared of failure um, but even if one person enjoys my videos I think it matters and I think it's just you know a nice outlet for me and it's I kind of also want to do it so that 
I can look back on my videos and be like, oh my god, I don't even remember doing that or, you know, travel vlogs and stuff. I just think it's so cool to be able to have those things that we don't wouldn't normally have. Like, we would just have the memories or, you know, pictures, but to have actual video of it, I think it would be so cool. So, I mean, I hope that I gain um, some people who like me, but I mean, if I don't, then that's okay. I, like I said, just want to kind of do it for myself, um, and uh, hopefully I stick with it. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's been a little difficult because I've been sick, um, but yes, yeah, so that's 40 facts about me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them. Um, I was trying to think of 50, but it was a struggle coming up with 40. So, <laughs> so stay tuned to my channel. Um, I am going to be coming out with some more videos soon. Hopefully I can, um, get over this cold. I'm on like the ends of it now, so we'll see. Um, but I hope you like my video and please, uh, subscribe to my channel, like and comment and share my video with your friends. Okay. Bye, friends.